Luca's with us in San Antonio. Hey, Luca, welcome to the Ramsey Show. How can we help? How you doing today? Thank you so much for taking my call. Sure. What's up? So um, I'm calling because I'm 28 years old. I have a wife and I have two little girls, and I'm looking to start getting into uh, becoming a real estate agent. But I don't want to be one of those slime balls, you know? Um, <laughs> and I just want to know what advice you would have or any thoughts you would have for getting into this in 2021. Uh, we have no debt paid for my wife's school in all cash. Uh, we own our vehicles. The only thing is that we live in an apartment. We don't have a house yet, and I just kind of wanted to know what your thoughts were. Mm-hmm. I, I'm becoming a real estate agent. What do you uh, What do you make a year? Um, this past year, together with my wife and I, we only made forty thousand dollars. Okay, what do you make, and what does she make? Okay, she makes so she makes um, thirty two thousand dollars, and. This year, since I lost my job in 2020, um, I was really working with immigrant shelters and kids weren't coming, so they laid us off. So I was kind of here and there with jobs throughout the year, trying to just kind of bring in what I could. So just total was 40000 But before, I was seven years with social services, making about $36,000. Okay. and But today, what are you making at this moment? Okay. Today, um, I'm making thirty. It annually will be $34,000. Okay. So you've gotten another job. Yes, I have another job right now. Okay. Uh, right. And I, you I, said I, you're 28, yeah. correct? 28. Yes, okay. sir. Good. Great. Well, I think you got a wonderful goal. Uh, why is it you want to get in the real estate business? You know, I've, I've, um, <clears throat> I just, I love, I've done the church thing. I've been in church, kind of I've done the leadership stuff. I love making um, impacts with people and making and making connections with people. I'm a people person. And I, in one sense, I kind of want to be my own boss. Um, and I, I've always had this thing to want to become an entrepreneur, but I've always been afraid of it. And I feel like real estate is not, it just gives me this drive to want to be able to say, Hey, I can help people like myself who've never had a home and be able to see that come to life and be able to be on the other side of that. Very good. Okay. Well, I think you should do it. Uh, if I can figure out a way, if I'm you, I'm going to do it incrementally, not all at once, meaning not walk in and quit your day job. Uh, so I would start mm-hmm. talking to real estate brokers in your area and see if you can get on. There's a lot of high production real estate agents like the ones in our ELP program that might have a two or a three person team. And they, one of those people might have an entry level position where you get licensed and you do some of the grunt work around the real estate business and learn the real estate business working for them. And that's your mm-hmm. that's that's your gateway into moving out on your own eventually. Okay. But finding a broker that will let you incrementally learn this and some kind of part time, or joining a team for some kind of minimal guarantee while you get your license and learn the business, being mentored like an apprenticeship, mm-hmm. in a sense. If you can get engaged in something that feels like that, then that's going to. Do it. The good news is you don't have to sell a lot of houses to make thirty-four thousand dollars. So, uh, but but you're a long way. I mean, you got to get licensed. You've got to learn a lot of stuff you don't know today uh, before that first sale is going to occur. And so you need to get under somebody's tutelage. And I can see where you would think I'm just going to go out and start selling houses. And there's a lot of things behind the scenes that you just got to pick up, right? Yeah, and in this world today, the marketing. In the real estate business, is not it's not just as simple as saying we'll sell a, a sign house. in the so yard. I mean, yeah, there's a full you know digital platforms. There's mm-hmm. methodologies that you'd use for gathering clients and communicating with clients, and um, a lot of that costs money. Yeah, and you know getting plugged into that stuff and learning how to do that in today's real estate world. Um, you know, a lot of people don't even use a phone. Uh, you know, okay. <laughs> they're just they're texting. texting I mean, they use it for forth. texting or yep. email and. But the number of times someone's talking on a telephone in our world today is a lot less than it was five years ago. Mm-hmm. And that's certainly true, even where there's a lot of people interaction. Um, you know, I bought a piece of real estate uh, last week, mm-hmm. and I'm closing on it tomorrow And um, as an investment. And um, I've not had a telephone conversation. Hmm. I won't be at the closing. It'll all be done digitally. Mm-hmm. Uh, everything will be wired, you know, and, and that's a different world than when I got my real estate license in 1978. Yep. So those are the kinds of things you got to be able to get your head around uh, if you're going to move into this, Luca. But I think you should and could do it. I think you can do it, don't you? It's got a special heart, man. Absolutely. And uh, 
I love they don't they don't have a lot of money. They don't make a big salary, and they're still cash flowing. They're still grinding it out. He's got two little girls that they're taking care of. I just I love his spirit, and man, I, I got lucky with a uh, real estate agent with great character, and I want to see more of them out there. So go get them, man. Amen.